Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and I'm really excited to bring you this video. Bungie just released a new trailer at Gamescom, an event, a gaming event in Germany, and they released a ton of new information on how these new subclasses work and how stasis is going to work. And so what I want to do is I want to break down this trailer and sort of analyze every little bit of it so that way we can understand what's going to come in November for Destiny 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just watch the video that I posted and uh, we'll go through the whole entire thing from start to finish. to their arsenal, the dark power of stasis. With stasis, players will take on the powers of darkness to control and dominate the battle. Here's an all new look at stasis from Destiny 2 Beyond Light. All right. I uploaded this video earlier and I'm sure you probably saw it, but if you didn't, uh, this is my reaction to some of this stuff because this is actually a lot of really cool stuff here. We got the Prophecy Dungeon. All right, shade binder. It's freezing enemies there. That looks pretty insane. It's got like a staff that's like shooting three bolts. That hunter gets frozen in his golden gun. Hunter has revenant. Throwing an icy, an ice pick. A ricochet throwing knife. Behemoth! Yes, dude. This looks so good. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot wait. So he's in his super. He jumps up. He puts an ice darkness wall down he slams and turns everyone frozen that shit's crazy oh my god i'm super excited all right and so as i begin to analyze this footage i actually found on bungie's instagram story they posted three uh little screenshots here we have one is called freeze a frozen foe is a conquered foe Control the battle by immobilizing enemies in solid stasis. The next one is stasis field. Even the odds by slowing your enemies in stasis fields, then aim down sights at your next target. And shatter a hail of icy razors erupt from broken stasis crystals, damaging those unlucky enough to be near. So we'll try and spot those throughout this trailer and see which, uh, which one is shatter, stasis field, and uh, freeze as we analyze the footage a little bit here. So we'll start off with warlock. We got shade binder. So obviously freezes the enemies there. I wonder if that ability will be exclusive to Warlock though, because it seemed like the Titan did a kind of like missile Fist of Havoc combination where it hit the ground and then froze enemies as well. I wonder if all three of the Darkness abilities, Titan, Hunter, and Warlock, will have the ability to freeze enemies or or keep them still in place. I really like this staff though here. This Warlock with a fucking giant staff and he's like shooting bolts of darkness out of it is insane. I love that right there. That looks like it'll be really cool. That's the Warlock throwing his staff, it looks like. And freezing... So the Warlock... Is that... I'm wondering, is this like an ability? This isn't a super. I need to go back here in a second. He just threw a grenade. So he throws the grenade. The grenade creates the stasis field. So that's what looks like what's going on here. So that was the... The Warlock throwing the grenades, the stasis field. This slows the enemies in the stasis fields, then aim down sight at next target. And then he, but on top of the stasis field, looks like they are then using a different ability, which freezes them. That's kind of crazy. That would obviously be the super there. There was like a giant ice pickaxe or something. And then there's the stasis field there. The stasis field, so let me see. Was that stasis field thrown earlier by the same... Yeah, there's the stasis field. 
it hits two of them with that. So this seems kind of crazy. Like, do all the classes have the ability to throw these stasis fields down? Titan Behemoth. So his, he does a Fist of Havoc, it would seem like, that now travels across the ground, kind of like a uh, Blade Dancer could do in Destiny 1, like travels across the ground, um, or like the Titan Shield does if you have that uh, exotic, it shoots a little solar beam on the ground. So it, it travels across the ground in three different paths and freezes enemies as it hits it. That's really crazy. I didn't know if it was going to kill them. I didn't actually pay attention to that. Wow. So it travels across the ground, freezing enemies, and then he flies in the air almost like a like a missile titan and hits enemies. That's the hunter. And that's the warlock. What is, that was just like a regular healing rift. No, that healing rift froze everyone. Damn, so that's not a healing rift or an empowering rift. That's just a straight freezing rift. That's crazy. All of the abilities and grenades and everything on this are going to be all darkness. They're all going to be all darkness based and they're going to be freezing the shit out of enemies in both Crucible and PV. Dude, Crucible might be kind of broken. I'm not going to lie. Crucible might be kind of incredibly broken. I want to play Mayhem with this so bad already. I don't know why. I just want to see what these supers are like. Oh my god. The hunter had a little slam there too. What was that? Were they are did you shoot them and make them frozen or were they pre-frozen? No, they were frozen. Oh my god. He throws he's in his super, he throws a grenade, looks like it creates an ice wall. And then he does a crazy fist of havoc. That was the warlock that came through there. So that guy that team got kind of like double supered, so that kind of was a little bit deceiving. Because it would be really sick if he just fist of havoc or darkness fist of havoc slams right here and just kills all of them, but he doesn't actually kill them. It looks like he freezes them. And uh I don't know what the duration of this would be, but I imagine they could if he doesn't kill them with something in that super that they're just gonna break free. Um but the warlock was here in the super uh as well so they were able to come by and do a little whatever that is oh man honestly this stuff looks really really cool and exciting to me as i review it over and over and over again uh it does look like it's going to be extremely kind of broken and kind of nasty like they tend to do a lot of that stuff with destiny like if you remember when they've come out with all the new subclasses they've always been extremely way more powerful than the rest because i mean that's probably how they sell it to other people like if these subclasses came out and they weren't as good as you know well of radiance or fist of havoc or blade barrage or golden gun then it's like why would you even want to use those you know like why would you want to use the new stuff if the old stuff is better so they're gonna make these probably extremely broken one of these will probably be beyond broken uh at the very start is my prediction uh considering i've played this game for years now and i see I've seen this happen time and time and time again but I'm sure it'll get tuned down, but it'll be really interesting and really fun to see. It'll be really crazy to see what the Crucible is going to be like for a bit when shit like that is happening. People are just getting frozen all the time. Damn, I don't even know. But it's going to be funny what happens when you throw a stasis and they throw a stasis and both of you are just sitting there frozen looking at each other like, all right, any second now. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. I will 100% be grinding the crap out of Beyond Light come November and I can't wait for you to come watch me on live stream do some behemoth slams like this, and I'll see you there. Have a good one. Later.